All right, so in this video, I wanna break down five steps to personal productivity that you can use within your own life. Because let me know if you ever have this, where you wake up, you're excited, you think you're gonna get a lot done. You're like, yes, new day, new me. And then you don't get done any of the things you need to get done. You end up procrastinating, you end up underachieving, and you don't really know what to do about it. So this formula and following it is gonna help you get the most out of that experience so that you can really quickly get yourself on track to that execution level that you expect of yourself, all right? So the first step is dream. I know that sounds, sounds esoteric. What is your dream, dude? If you don't have a dream for your life, how are you supposed to build something? You're not gonna know what to build and so you're not gonna build anything. You're gonna end up building nothing because you weren't clear on what you were going. So what is your dream, dude? What type of house do you want? What type of relationship do you want? What type of life do you want? What type of things do you wanna create with your life? Visualize that, use your imagination, and then step two, break that down into goals, into posts and check marks that you can hit along the way that says, yo, I really wanted to do this in my life, I did it. How cool does that feel? But of course, none of that matters if you can't actually get the thing done. So the third thing is actions. How do those dreams translate into those goals? Translates into the actions that you need to take. What are the actions that you need to take to actually hit those goals? Write them out, write them out, write them out, write them out. Get your list because four is deadlines. When are you gonna do them by? When are you gonna release that program? When are you gonna start that business? When are you gonna quit that job? When are you gonna push yourself? When, is it tomorrow? Is it a month, a week, a year from now, a decade from now? Some people go their whole lives without waking up. Are you gonna be one of those people? That's for you to decide. It's not for me to decide, it's for you to decide. Okay, I'm just here to give you the frameworks. And pro tip, action plus a deadline equals task. And this completely transformed for me. What I started doing is, instead of just writing things out and putting a deadline, I got ahead and got myself a sauna. I got myself Monday. And what I did was I actually created the task. I put it in there. I assigned it to myself as if I was my own manager. So now you have two sides of the brain that are working at the same time. You have the manager side that's creating what you need to do. And then you have the operator side that's actually executing it. And the more that those can be a one-two punch, the more you're gonna get done, the better off you're gonna do in life. You're creating those internal systems and those architectures to get yourself on track. So I went ahead, created those tasks for myself, assigned them to myself, set a due date. So now guess what? By Friday, I better get that done. Or else, what do I have to look at? I have to look at a big red thing that says, hey, you failed. You didn't do it. You messed up. You failed. Ha ha ha. You, you thought you could, but you didn't. You thought you could, but you couldn't. Ooh, that's things, yo. That's spicy. Ooh, that hits. Especially as a man who's like, ooh, we're competent, right? We're competent. We show up. Ooh, missed, missed the mark. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, that's a sting. And missed the mark that you set for yourself because you couldn't self-manage yourself to accomplish the thing that you set for yourself. Ooh, that, ooh, ah, that's things. And that's what makes you a better entrepreneur. And then what I started doing is taking that task that's assigned to myself and I actually started blocking off time on the Google calendar specifically to do that task. Because I found I would load myself up with like 13 tasks. I could get four of them done. I got nine that I didn't do. I feel bad about myself, but I didn't really account for uh, how much time it would take to do each task. So that's, a, that's a pro tip if you're having trouble with like the, an action deadline. Like, yo, sign up for Asana, sign up for Monday, no affiliation, sign it to yourself and then put it on your Google calendar for exactly which time you were doing it. Notice the velocity. You're gonna get so much more momentum out of your life and you're actually gonna feel like you're moving towards those goals. Super important. And the fifth point, this is the most important point, it's not the point that you think, is team. Finding people and surrounding yourself with people that are going to come together to help achieve a mutual outcome or a mutual shared dream. Because at the end of the day, you can only do so much yourself. You're gonna need a team to take those tasks and those deadlines to help you fulfill them. And you're gonna need to exhibit leverage in a way that creates healthy competition so that top performers get rewarded accordingly and vice versa, so that you can hit those goals and help your team hit their goals so that you can build that dream and help your team build theirs. That's what this is all about. Personal productivity and accountability translating into team-wide performance. This what we wanna see. Hopefully you got something out of it. Let me know what is a piece of the process that you use for yourself that helps you shortcut or that you found helps you hold yourself accountable as a business owner and entrepreneur. As always, if you want to see more content around entrepreneurship, around building business, around how to build a great company, please follow. That's hopefully going to help you transform the way that you think about business, the way you think about life, and allow you to live a happier, bigger, better uh, existence and realize your full potential, because that's what we want to see for you. So this has been the five steps to help you increase your personal productivity and translate that into team accountability. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.